course all roads lead to the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield for the World Championships next April. Once again, Irish soc snooker fans even will be watching the progress of Ken Doherty very closely. But last week in Dublin, the former world champion took up a very different challenge to what he's normally used to. Doherty spent the morning passing on some of his expert knowledge and snooker skills to a group of teenagers who are hoping to follow in his glorious footsteps. Ken Doherty was hosting a National Lottery sponsored masterclass with four talented young snooker players. The event was held in the Ockram Street Parish Centre in Dublin. Ray Bates, National Lottery Director, said the event brought together three strands of National Lottery funding. To date, over £1 billion has been raised and distributed to good causes all over Ireland. The challenges today for Ken were Carl Dunphy from Drimna in Dublin, John Dorgan from Moy, County Cork, Philip O'Connor from Drimna as well, and Damien Shore from Nina in County Tipperary. First up was Carl, a member of the Castle Billiard Snooker Club in Drimna. Carl has a highest practice break of 141 to his name. He's already got many titles under his belt as well. I won the Dublin under 14s and the Leinster under 14s. I just got beaten in the Leinster under 16s last Saturday. And um, I've done well. I'll have a good season. Like I represented Ireland as well in uh, a, a challenge match against Northern Ireland. I won, won most, of, most of my matches and uh, played for Dublin once or twice as well. Doherty was glad to give the young stars of the future a tip or two. I think if you've got a, a, a good stance, uh, a good posture, where you're, you know, you're quite steady, uh, that's just what I was. One of the things I was trying to instill to them, but also about their their cue action and, and their head. I think is, is quite important not to move. Uh, whereas, like you know, if it's moving all over the place, you know your cue is going to go all over the place, so it's not good, obviously. So it's it's very important to keep your head still uh, and, of course, just your body still. And then the rest of it is just down to your action. And uh, most of the guys here, as we've seen, I've got a good cue action. So they've already picked up a little bit already. He says all my cue action, my stance and all, and uh, my, my pause and all, and my, all, all my follow through was great and all, like, different than the other lads, like, because I get coached by PJ Nolan, like, and uh, that's what we're working on, all them sort of things. So starting the show, like, in the competitions and the matches. Next up was John Dorgan, a member of the CYMS club in Formoy in County Cork. Again, Ken had some useful advice. I just told him, I said, it'll take time. I don't want him to sort of change initially, uh, but it takes time for him to work at it and, and to see exactly what he's doing wrong. It only takes somebody to point out something. Uh, and if, and if, if it's sort of shown to him and it sort of enlightened him a little bit, then he will be able to see and then be able to work on it himself. And it, it takes a lot of time, but if you, if you start off on the right foot, then it helps the progress, uh, it makes it a lot easier. And the advice seemed to be paying off. However, Ken did advise John a slight change in his style. He said there was nothing wrong with it, like, but he just said it, it could make you better, like if you just made your Q arm a bit straighter and put my, like, the Q on my chin there and Q it up properly. Like. With the snooker season now in full swing, Doherty, who became the first player to win both the World Amateur and World Professional titles, is hopeful of further success. Well, I'd hope to bring back a, a, a tournament anyway, or a trophy, back to back home. And uh, but to, just to win, just to try and keep keep winning, and uh, you know, keep putting myself in the positions to, to win tournaments, and that's what it's all about. Well, one thing for sure, the future of the sport in Ireland looks very good. Stephen Kyo, TV3 Sport.